Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Zainab Bora and I'm very, very happy to have with me my dear student, Dr. Shivangi, who has cleared the FMG exam. Uh, hi Shivangi, very, very happy to see that beautiful smile on your beautiful face. Uh, how are you feeling? Has it uh, sunk in yet that, that this finally it's over? I mean, it is a very overwhelming feeling and I'll give all the credits to you. You were my constant motivation. Your words were going through my mind in the exam. I will talk to you in the interview. Just keep going. This is a question. This is a This was my motivation throughout the exam. It will happen. One question. One more question. I still remember uh, in the Mega BTR uh, question, there was uh, one topic which I was not understanding. And you mentioned that do. Then someone said something and you replied, if you know one mark ki value, then read it. So I was like, no, I will not leave this. If mom is saying I have to study, I will study. Amazing. So so you, tell us your story, you know. Uh, you said this was your third attempt. So so yes, how, how has the journey been like? I, I know your story, you know, and there were many things that you had to overcome. So I think it will be, uh, it's up to you. But, you know, if you can share, uh, you know, uh, the story of, of how you've been through MBBS, how has post MBBS been like? So, so you know, uh, tell us your story. My whole entire MBBS was a roller coaster. So I took admission in uh, Bogomilets Uni uh, University in Ukraine, in Kyiv. So I completed my uh, MBBS from there. While I was in third year, we had this huge exam called CROC. We have to clear it. It was a huge pressure. Somehow I managed to clear it with good marks. Mm -hmm. But during that time, we had COVID. So it was a different thing. Like you had to overcome many things during that time. So COVID was over. So finally, I was like, okay, I can go back to my normal life. I can again focus. But as soon as the COVID was over, the war came. And that was devastating for me, for all of my friends, because it's like you are now homeless. Because you don't know. I I, I was so lost. I was I didn't know where to go from here. I was so lost. I had so many people. You at that time? Where were you at that time? I was there in the Kiev. Okay, so um, uh, tell us about that time. You know how how was it being a, an Indian student there? Sure, it must uh, have been terrible. Uh, yes, so please. Yeah. Earlier, I will be very honest. I was myself mocking other people. Ki, okay, nothing is happening. You guys are just you know scaring us. But then yeah. uh, I was waiting for the embassy to issue a letter, but that didn't happen. So somehow I was convinced that nothing is happening. So I'll stay here. But then my mom called me and she was, and she is like, I, I, if you will not come, something will happen to me. And my mom constantly was calling me. So I was saved by just two days. Like war was on 24th and I left on 22nd. And as soon as I reached, all the uh, flights were uh, closed. The airport was closed and I was so scared. I was, I still didn't reach to my home and the airports were closed. My seniors were stuck. And that was scary because my best friend was also stuck in Ukraine. And mm. I was shivering after hearing that. But somehow from God's grace, we all survived. We all came out safely and we all mm. came back to India. But as soon as we came back to India, that was another struggle because now people were questioning, like, how can you do your medical online? That was a very valid question. Of course, you cannot do medicine online. I totally agree with them. That was a good question on our existence, actually. But uh, then they were, uh, so everyone was like, this is not valid. And the government was also not on our side. They said, you have to do an internship for two years. Listening that was like another mm -hmm. trauma. Like it was a trauma after trauma, trauma after trauma. But uh, I'll say I got a blessing. Uh, they were, uh, I have a senior doctor here who was so kind to me. He said, no worries. You come here, you observe, do whatever you want to do. Just come here and stay. You will find your way somehow or the other. And I was like, sir, this is not something, I, I'm not sure if I am that capable of, you know, even touching the patient right now. He was like, you don't have to do anything, just stay here. So he helped me get through it. Then there were seniors who helped me get through it. Then I uh, went to Germany. I was there uh, so that I could just take my degree. So at the end, I was there in Germany. 
But while I was coming back, there was another struggle of collecting your documents from Ukraine because mm. it was not easy to take it out from there. So it got delayed. And mm. I came back to India in November uh, 2023. Mm. So, and the exam was in Jan. So I was like, now I'm missing my chance. It's gone. And mm. I was all set. My mind was set that I will not give this uh, attempt because I'm not prepared. I had, and I don't want to waste it. I, I always had in my mind that I will clear it in first attempt. I can do this. Mm. I can do this. Mm. But some of my friends convinced me otherwise. Ki dekhe to mm. dekh. Maybe, maybe yeah. it will turn out good. So I gave yeah. the exam, but it yeah. didn't work out. Of course, you can, this is not the exam that you can just go and sit and, you know, you'll pass the exam. This is not that easy. And I realized my level and I thank my friend for, you know, motivating me to give that exam because it was not easy. I got the reality check. I was like, now it's my time to study. I'll do it. But then when I was, while I was preparing for my second attempt, I got sick. My mom got sick. And uh, then we had this, uh, some personal issues which was going on in our family. There were also celebrations and everything was going on. But uh, somehow I messed it up. I didn't get a chance. So I was again convinced I will not give this attempt. But my mom was like, give it, give it. And there I scored 136. So I started crying. And I said, maybe I'm not made for this. Maybe I'm too dumb for this. But my mom said, just give it a one last try. If you don't clear it, then you can go out and do whatever you want to do. I was like, okay. But <laughs> in November, I got engaged. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> thank you. Mom. So my mom and everyone said, Ki, ab ho gaya hai. I was getting very depressed. I, uh, my fiance. Let said, me guess. Again, you said, I will not give this attempt. <laughs> and then somebody yes, convinced me. Yes. And, and this time. You. <laughs> yes, this time my mom was like, just give it your best. It's okay. We are, we know it will not, uh, you know, you will not clear it. It's okay. We still will support you. Do it next time. I was like, now this is something that is getting on my nerves, that getting on my ego. This is not something that, uh, because giving attempts also take a toll on you because it's not easy to sit there for so many hours and you see people around you doing so well. I am seeing my juniors getting passed and I'm like, what am I doing in my life? I am not that dumb. Why am I doing all this? So I said, I'll do my best. Then thankfully, uh, it was in November. My engagement was in November. I, I saw the uh, that BTR is happening. I was like, Mommy, Zainab Mamne bulaya hai, main ja rahi hu. So my mom was like, go, I will not stop you. And I I went there and I still remember you were uh, standing near the entrance and you were leaning towards the wall and my fiance uh, tapped on my uh, back and said, Zainab, Zainab, ma'am, ma'am, hi, hi, hi. And you waved back. I was so surprised because generally I, I thought you will not wave, but you did. I was like, oh my Achhe din shuru ho gaye. From there it started ki ab motivation aagya, ab motivation aagya, and I somehow I gathered my courage on the last day and I came to you. You remember that, I hope. Yeah. I came to you mm-hmm. and I said, Ma'am, I'm not talking to you. I will talk to you directly in interview and I'll tell you everything there. And today is the day that is happening. <laughs> So amazing, you know, uh, you actually manifested this and, and it's happening and, and and I'm so proud of you, you know, that that you've stuck around despite so many things happening. Your MBBS uh, journey was crazy, you know, and, and it is traumatic to go through uh, that, you know, and, and you are a young adult at the time, you know, so for, for all of you guys who were there. Kudos, you know, I mean, I can't even imagine how that must be like to be stuck in that place, you know, with God's grace, you were back, but I can't even imagine what must be the mental status of people who were stuck there, you know, so, so to have gone through that, and finally, you know, coming uh, over to the other side of an exam, which apparently people think is easy, but it's not, you know, so, so not the too. level of exam is changing and, and plus when, when they used to consider it to be easy, the options were, were pretty tricky. And now, you know, we don't consider any difference between NEET PG and, and uh, you know, FMG as far as the topics are concerned, as far as the level of the exam is concerned. So, so you know, um, amazing. Uh, I am, I'm so happy that you are on the other side now. So, uh, when are you getting married? <laughs> <laughs> Probably this year, ma'am. Even oh, my fiancé is uh, uh, preparing for NEET PG and he's a huge fan of yours. 
he's the one who said ranam ma'am ke paas jayenge we both will crack this and we'll do interview to her so mine is done hopefully he'll be doing he'll be the one he'll next week too yeah yeah hopefully next time we'll we'll take both of your interview together uh, that yeah. will be <laughs> um, i'm really hoping for that great great shivangi so so uh, just final closing words as advice you know to your juniors who are who are starting to prepare uh, you can tell me about the strategy and and how you used btr but i also want to know how do you keep your uh, mental uh, game up you know when you've not cleared the exam twice i think that is something which is also you know you start having a lot of self doubt self doubt yes for this or not so what is your advice for that and and then how to use btr just very quickly <laughs> I'll be very honest, ma'am. That is one thing which I really need to still work on. Uh, the underconfident thing. I'm being honest. I changed around thirty-five questions in the exam. The answers were yeah. correct, and I changed it because I was downplaying myself. I was undermining my own thoughts. Like, okay, this can't be easy. How can I just come to uh, an answer so easily? This can't be happening. Yeah. But somehow, if I would have stuck to my guts and I would have, yeah. you know, listened to myself, I would have. gotten something around 180 but okay whatever it is i have passed the exam that is more than enough so i'll i'll strongly suggest people to trust yourself it's your gut feeling go for it don't doubt yourself not in the exam it's already one minute the pressure you have during that time is not something uh, very easy uh so when i uh, watch the re- when i was watch while i was watching the recall all of a sudden all the exam seemed so easy but while i was in the center while i was giving the exam it was not that easy yeah so there is a difference you just not have to gain the knowledge but you also have to prepare yourself mentally give as much as gts as possible and not in the st- uh, study mode that is what i want to tell everyone like stop doing it i understand that it it's very convenient and very easy but at the end of the day exam is going to happen in exam mode start with it start working with it so that uh, you and it also consumes less time because uh, the time you take to review those answers while you are giving the gts it's like you somehow you also get the idea for the next question so it's it's not something that i think it works out for me but you do you whatever works out for you but i'll strongly suggest start with the exam mode btr last during the last month one month do nothing whatever you have done during the rr uh, main notes concise it club it with btr then do your pyqs i think everyone have that one or at least four subjects that they are sure that i am not very confident about it do btr nothing else btr kar lo ho jayega i i can assure you wo char panch subjects jo bhi hai because uh, like you said biochem mein kitna hi kya aayega itna hi tum kitna bhi pad loge biochem tumhare liye kam hi hoga and i admit kitna bhi pad loge you you are, you will forget it it's not something that you can you know you will keep revising it it's not practically possible but jitna padho pura padho acche se padho so that is what i would say do your uh, rr or main notes then btr plus pyqs and then sorted last may you make your choti copy which you know that this these are your volatile uh, topics and you are going to forget it uh, there is a uh, one page in the obgy where you have uh, everything uh, lined up you also t- uh, while btr you also mention this is this will go in your choti copy so i think that is even more convenient ki we do not have to uh, put that kind of uh, mental energy that okay choti copy mein kya dega you know it so just that do not waste your time in thinking ki hoga ki nahi hoga you said this uh, focus what you can do don't focus on what you can't do you that one month is something focus whatever you can do because now time has gone do whatever you can do do not focus what is not happening for you because it didn't work out earlier it will not work out now so focus whatever you can do right now in during that time in that crunch time and yeah. uh, sitting uh, gts is the best way to prepare yourself mentally yeah. that you have to sit for this hours uh, i think uh, what is the best thing is start uh, start your day at 9 am that is the best thing mm-hmm. you can do because once you mm-hmm. get the hang of it it really helps in the long run and yeah. breaks are necessary 
एक्चुअली ब्रेक्स आर मच मोर इम्पोर्टेंट देन पीपल से की नो ब्रेक्स नहीं लेंगे कंटिन्यू आठ घंटा पढ़ेंगे दैट इज नॉट ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल फॉर एवरी वन फॉर मी इट इज नॉट आई मैक्सिम आई कैन स्ट्रेच फॉर फाइव आवर्स सिक्स आवर्स बट देन आई रियली नीड अ ब्रेक लाइक ड्यूरिंग द बी टी आर ऑल्सो Uh, you said five minutes ka break. I'm like, mom, एक दम रोबोट है मैम कैन डू एनी थिंग बट वी नीड अ ब्रेक बट यू आर सो पंच एंड यस मेंटल थिंग मैम सी एवरी वन कैन प्रिपेयर यू विद नोट्स एंड रिसोर्सेज बट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज मेंटल प्रिपरेशन दैट यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी मच फोकस्ड डेटर माइंड दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस आई एम यूर बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस एंड इफ मैम इज सिटिंग देर फॉर दिस टाइम मैम कैन डू इट यू कैन डू इट टू and personally yeah. i know my score is not that great but if i can do it anyone can do it that is what i want to say just keep mm-hmm. going do not give up because i know at times you will be like everyone is going forward and this is i think i should give it up i'm not made for this but there will be someone who will tell you you can do it listen to that person and go for it yeah. that is one thing i want to say that's just don't give it up keep going whatever it is mm-hmm. you will be on the other side somehow anyhow wonderful so nicely said and i i think it's so important you know uh, you stressed upon all the important things in the content that get the giving gts and and giving it like you are it, it's simulating the actual exam is so important important because otherwise if you face that environment for the very first time uh, the pressure is too much तो जो सिंपल चीजें होती है वो भी आप ओवर करके गलत करते हो यू नो इन दैट एनवायरमेंट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि गेट यूज टू दैट गिव अ जी टी एवरी फिफ्टीन डेज डोंट वेट कि एक बार सारे सब्जेक्ट्स करेंगे फिर देंगे नहीं शुरू से दो ट्राई टू लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस विच यू डोंट नो एनी अबाउट कैसे गेस करके कैसे एलिमिनेट करके आंसर को पहुंचना है वो हैबिट से आएगा यू हैव टू बिल्ड दैट हैबिट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग सो एज सुन एज यू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग इन द अर्लियर डेज एवरी फिफ्टीन डेज गिव अ जी टी इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी यू नो सो यू have to continue for those 6 months so i think good 6 months prep you know you are good to go so so that's what uh, would be the message thank you so much it was lovely thank you so much uh, talking to you and and uh, god bless you and hoping to uh, see you again um, uh, in in one of the classes or hopefully uh, outside our party is pending so yes <laughs> so we'll see you soon thank you so much uh, shivangi for talking to me and and god bless you thank you so much ma'am Bye bye ma